Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Subnautica and today we are in the Lost River and there is quite a few nasties around and yeah we're just trying to explore see if we cannot progress the storyline a little bit what's going on wow it's the ghost of thingy yeah the ghost of leviathan it seems like it doesn't like me at all. Sorry, I'm not trespassing on your territory. Anyways, so yeah, we're gonna try to uh, traverse this area, see if we cannot find any more alien related things. And in order to find the Lost River, you need to go to the floating islands, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, around there somewhere, you should be able to find an entrance. These are some sort of alien technology, definitely. Definitely. Uh huh. Ooh, we found this place. Now I kind of did cheat a little. I went to look up and see where we can find this. To have collapsed to the sea floor. Now I remember in one of my videos, people complained that I did not show where the entrance was. Okay, and uh, yeah, it was actually very hard to find. Linguistic analysis reads, caution, hazardous materials and life forms contained within. Okay, this seems like the entrance over here. So let us gently go in, get away from the whoppers, because they will ruin our day. Okay, so Passing we need to find increase. these guys. Yes, yes, I know. Clearly fail. Thank you, Mrs. AI. So, I uh, just want to give you guys a heads up on what I did. Um, in here, we have a couple of tablets, which we crafted with these iron cubes. Then I read somewhere that we do require one of these for the end game. Okay. And I uh, also brought along some waters. And in here, I did upgrade the seamoth uh, on this side. We have a storage with some various foods and waters and some batteries and yeah. So, let us continue on. Let's go ahead and insert the tablet. Deactivate that force field. Welcome aboard, Captain. And see if we cannot squeeze in here. Uh, uh, uh. Like so. Okay. So, apparently this is the only thing. Integrating new PDA data. Mm-hmm. Integrating new PDA data. Hmm, interesting. While we're here, why don't we just go ahead and repair real quick? Because of my bad driving. There we go. And let's continue on. Can we squeeze through here? Yes, we can. I'm very, very curious. Data pertaining to the bacterium is being downloaded. Caution. Detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self scan is strongly advised. Okay, let's do a cell scan then. Self scan complete. Bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system. Medical report recorded to date to bank. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. Oh dear. That's not good at all. Okay. Aha. Okay. So it says here thermal power facility 1.2 kilometers deep inside extensive natural rock formation area, volcanic activity for all local facilities. Facility corrupted. In event of outbreak, quarantine procedure is being enforced. Okay, cool. So this means we need to upgrade the Cyclops and... Well, I think this the Cyclops is fine. It's the prawn suit we need to upgrade. Now, how the hell do we do that? Hmm. 
So in order to find kyanite, I think. So how or where the hell do you find kyanite? That is an interesting question. And oopsie daisy, here we go. Boom. Alright, welcome back. And uh, yeah, we made it out alive. And what happened was, this is a few days later. The video footage, everything got corrupted. Well, not corrupted, just the audio of the game was missing. And if I'm checking right now, it looks like everything is working. Um, but yeah, so... Luckily, we are going to watch the footage. I'm just going to explain and do a voiceover and explain what I'm doing exactly and how we, you know, ended up here. We are free from the enzyme or the uh, infection. We did cure that. We also switched off the big gun as well. And uh, yeah, let's quickly delve, dive into the storyline and see what I exactly did, starting with the lava cave or the lava castle. So we start at the lava cave or the lava castle and we are trying to get into the lava castle with the prawn suit and just remember you have to upgrade your cyclops and prawn suit in order to reach these depths okay and uh, believe me it's not an easy task but yeah as we can see we can we are moving in and trying to reach the inside of the castle or the alien base let's put it that way it's the alien base and once we reach inside, we can see that there is some ion cubes and you require the drill arm in, in order to harvest this big deposit of ion cubes. Ion cubes. So next we go ahead and insert a tablet which will get us into a like a central processing uh, area inside the alien base. And it is the alien thermal plant which we quickly going to scan. And then we go and access the database we download some data which would tell us that uh, there is a primary alien facility located that uh, location which is inside this cave network and we also go ahead and scan a blue tablet which we, you will need in order to access certain areas in the next phase next up we return to the cyclops with our prawn suit and make sure as i mentioned that the your Cyclops is upgraded and your prawn suit is upgraded to go the maximum depth because this next part is we're going very very deep and what we need to do is just remember in the surrounding area just the immediate area around the lava cave or lava castle there should be a lava pit okay as we traverse with the Cyclops around we will be able to see below us is a big Pit, lava pit and as we go down we can see there is a hole which we can sit like easily fit the cyclops through with a little bit of struggles and then suddenly the alien contacted us the sea emperor contacted us and sent us a message and then in the distance we can see there is another alien building but remember there's a Levi dragon leviathan in the vicinity so make sure you get to the entrance as quickly as possible and we get to the entrance with our prawn suit we can go in and over here we need to use the blue tablet or the put yeah the blue tablet we open we insert it we can enter it and as we enter we see a big pool of water okay now let us quickly jump into this pool and we can see we come face to face with the Sea Emperor Leviathan. And she goes ahead and tells us a bunch of things and we jump off quickly to go to the uh, hatchery, the incubator. And then they give us a blueprint to make hatching enzymes or the enzymes the blueprint or whatever and we can also see the sea emperor leviathan reveals a stargate for us by blowing away wind and we can easily use an ion cube and get access to it all right welcome back and yeah so apparently to make the enzyme over here we need different flowers and samples and those things 
And the first one is I stalk seed. All right. Now I remember we saw some over here. This is where we found uh, some wreckages, like the one, well, the one thermal plant of the alien, and uh, where is it? There were some wreckages and things around here, uh, over here. Okay, and um, yeah, if you're wondering what biome this is, this is a sparse reef, and a quick way to find it is if you have LivePod, LivePod 19 uh, enabled on your pings, let me just show you over here, on the beacon manager, uh, life pod 19 from your base okay go towards the life pod 19 and you will come across this area and over here you will find the eye stalks over here okay so uh let's give it a, a quick burst of energy just to make sure nothing is in our vicinity and let's go ahead and sp like scan them i guess Okay, that's what we wanted, and there we go. We have one of those. Cool. All right, I'm off to find the next one, so see you guys at the next seed. Right, next up is the Sea Crown. If we go and look over here in the blueprints, uh, Sea Crown Seed. Now, we are at the grassy plateaus, all right? It's not too far from the base. Actually, it's one of the easier places to find, but it's not that easy. Okay, now in order to find this one particular plant, is if you travel around and you find the life pod, which was that one over there, okay, and you, I don't know, float around or whatever, and you come across these debris fields, okay? There's a couple of archways on the left. Now to the right, there's a trench. So if we go down this trench, down, 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 and then we can see right here, right here, is a hole. Okay, it's got some very dangerous jelly things. If we go in here and go all the way down, here we can see here's the sea crown. Okay, so let's quickly go ahead and give it a scan. Uh, I don't know, it's not necessary, but let's go ahead, give it a scan, cut it, and there we go. All right, so the next thing would be uh, a fungal sample. Okay, let me see if I can find it quickly. All right, welcome back. So, the, the fungal sample. All right, uh, if we go into our blueprints, we can see here a fungal sample. I already have one. Uh, it's just at the mushroom forest. Okay, not very far from our base, uh, but it's very, very easy to find. Just come up to one of these guys and just cut. That's all. That's all you need to do. Just quickly scan this. And, uh, yeah, I never knew that was actually a thing. So... Okay, so we have actually two of them now. Let's just go ahead and drop one. We don't... Oh, look, it's a block. Yeah. Okay, so we have our sea crown, eye stalk seed, and a fungal sample. Next up will be the ghost weed seed and the bulb bush sample. All right, so let me see if I can find... Hmm, let's go for the bulb bush. All right, let's uh, see if we can find it. Okay, so... The bulb bush is obviously one of these guys, okay? And the easiest to find them is if you go and look for life part number 12, it will take you straight to one of these bushes. So let's quickly see if we can snatch one of these guys up. There we go. Let's give it a scan. Can we scan? Okay. Scan that one. Just for the hell of it. All right. So we are good in that department. Let's quickly see. Yep. Thank you very much. Blueprints. Uh, okay. The last thing we need is the ghost weed seed. All right. So, what? Get away from me. I did nothing. Nothing. And if you're wondering where the bulb bushes is, just uh, follow the mushroom forest. You would eventually find it as well. But the easiest, just go and look for life pod number 12. All right, I'm just going to scour into this place and quickly look for the ghost weed seed. So see you guys in a bit. All right, welcome back. And the last but not least is this guy. So we are in the blood kelp forest and the easiest to find this place. There's a damn warper that is bugging me. Please go away. Easiest to find this place is if we go and look for... 
uh, where is it? There, life pod two, CTO use life pod sunk 500 meters, whatever. And once you get here, you can actually just look on top of these guys over here, these floating rocks. Really? Jeez. Okay, so I already grabbed a sample. I quickly want to scan it though. And there we go. We found a ghost weed. And let's just get out of here before anything else decides to make us lunch. And about 1.3 kilometers away from base. But. Yeah, there's one of those crab heads. Yeah, I don't want to be close to them. Because they can shut down electrical devices. But if we quickly look at the blueprints. We can see we have all the things necessary. We just need to go and make it at base. So, let me get back to base. Okay, we made it back. We have all the necessary ingredients. Now let's see. Advanced materials, enzymes. Ooh, nice. Okay, so let me quickly see. Um, we don't need, no, we don't need that. Uh, there's nothing in here. Uh, you know what, let's take these two purple tablets. Mm, two kyanites. What was it? An ionic cube? Ion cube? Where was it now? Where did I hide that? Ah, in here. Let's see if we can make one blue tablet. There we go. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I cannot teleport back to the base of the main what do you call it? Uh, the Sea Emperor or whatever. And yeah, we'll see you guys there. After we crafted up the enzymes, what we did was we went back to the big gun alien base and went through the Stargate found very close to it. And it, lead, it would lead us straight to the pool of the Sea Emperor and we quickly go to the incubator and insert the enzymes as we can see the little dragons or the little emperors did hatch and is showing to mommy and all is well and unfortunately the giant sea emperor is dying off but the little ones are going through the portal and we quickly follow suit going through the portal and we meet up with the little guys and we can see they dropped they they have these little glittery ball poops and uh, it's concentrated enzyme 42 and all you have to do is get close to it touch it and as we can see we are cured let's quickly do a self scan and we can see that the bacterial infection is no more but that relieves us of one thing we go we should go back to base and then try to build the rocket all right and we return with the rocket complete but before we set off we launch there is one little guy I want to say goodbye to, the cuttlefish. I haven't seen it uh, since when it came into the game. I've not really, you know, I've just seen a couple of pictures of it or whatnot. So, yeah, this is the cuttlefish. And he is super adorable. Come here, buddy. Hello there. <laughs> yeah, he's so cute. It's so cute. But unfortunately, we have to say farewell to him. So, um, yeah, little guy, let's say farewell. Oh, he's just so adorable. And yeah, let's just uh, go, I guess. And um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the series as much as I did. It's been really cool. The game has been properly done. It's a game I haven't played like this in a long time it's the nothing really comes close to this so let me wait for the elevator to come down before i get crushed underneath it but anyways um yeah let's just get back onto the rocket and uh, there's a two more things we need to do before we set off completely but this was really a fun game hope you guys did enjoy the series hope you guys did enjoy the game go do yourself a favor buy it play it enjoy it 
And uh, yeah, let's enter the rocket. Okay, so we are in here. I'm just quickly going to do, add some storages, um, you know, provisions for a long trip. I don't think it's going to be that long. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and activate auxiliary power unit. Activate. There we go. Auxiliary power unit online. Now communications array. Engage. Communications systems array active. And hydraulic systems check. Pressurizing hydraulics. There we go. Now let's go up. There's our power source. And here is the seat. Nice uh, big seat. And over here is time capsule. I already have a time capsule ready to go, but let's go ahead and add some things. Diver. There we go. Good luck, feature diver. Okay, there we go. And this. Time capsule ready. There we go. Time capsule is ready. Let's go ahead and activate. Prime the prime the CPU. Primary computer systems active. There we go. Let's go ahead and activate life support. Life support systems online. There we go. So all these check out, all, all these check out. Okay. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, series. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. And also don't forget to check out the series. And don't forget to subscribe for more adventures in on the channel. And yeah, I hope you guys will have an awesome day. Awesome weekend and good luck in the future. So see you guys on the next one. Bye bye. Ready to launch on your command, Captain. Launch in ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Two, one. Time capsule jettisoned. Caution approaching orbital debris field. field clear performing gravity turn maneuver confirm destination coordinates nearest interstellar phase gate engaging ion boosters in three two one Thank <laughs> you.